Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we're comparing fractions. Okay, hi Niall, and what have you got on the board behind you? What will we compare first? One whole against one half. Okay, good. So can you put, how would you write one whole and how would you do one half? So, one whole, you would just put one, and one half, you would put one out of two. One out of two, and we put a line in the middle. Okay, very good. So, which one is bigger? One whole. Okay, so what sign can you use to show the bigger one? Oh, okay. Um, where's my pen? Um, I will put this. It's a symbol that's less than, no, more than. More than. It's a modern symbol and it's an a good way to remember it is that this is a crocodile's mouth and the crocodile's greedy so he, he always wants to eat the bigger number oh good one okay so that reads one is more than mm -hmm. half yeah. okay good you can leave the one half yeah. where it is take down the hole and can you put one quarter there One quarter. One quarter. And can you show us what the fraction one quarter looks like? Mm -hmm. One out of like, one out of four. one out of four. Um is something yeah. missing? Line. Okay, and check the sign to compare the sizes of those fractions. Oh, this has to be the other way around. Can you explain why? Because it's one fourth and two of one, two of these makes this. Okay, so which one's bigger? This one. Okay, so what sign should you draw? The less than sign. So this way. Okay, can you put the rubber on the board so that you don't have it in your hand? Yeah. You said that two of the quarters make one half. Yeah. Okay, can you show us what you mean? Can you get another quarter? Look what happens when I combine these two. It makes the same. The same as that one? The same. Okay, I see. So yeah. two quarters make, it's the same as one half. Okay, so take off the one that you just put on. So one quarter is definitely less than one half. Yes. Okay, good job. Let's do three quarters. So you already have one quarter there. So can you do change it to three quarters and explain what three quarters mean? Three quarters. Three quarters. Okay, and how does the fraction look for three quarters? The frac fraction. This is three quarters. Okay, but you have to change the one underneath. You just have to change the one into a three. So three quarters means three out of four. Yes. Equal parts. Yes. So can you compare? Three quarters to two halves. How many halves have you got on the board? Ooh, one. So one more half equals one whole. Very good. And how can oh. you write two halves? Two out of two. Or you could just put one. Okay, let's go with two out of two because I said two halves. Yeah. Out of two. Okay, so which one's bigger? Is the sign correct or do you need to change it? The sign's correct. Okay, can you explain why? Because 
that isn't that yet because it only needs one more quarter and then it makes the same. Okay, so that one's missing one quarter to make the whole. Yes. So two halves is bigger than three quarters. Very good. Yeah. Okay, let's look at one quarter and two eighths. Oh. Okay, let's look at those two factors, one quarter and two eighths. Compare the sizes and what do you think? Which one do you think is bigger? Mm -hmm. Both of them, I think they're equal. You think they're equal? How can yeah. you know for sure if they're equal? Oh, well, now we just have to see if they are equal. So let's see if there's any more yellow left? If there's a little yellow, then it does still mean that because hey. Come on. Okay, this is the way I learned it in school. Okay, are they equal? Yes. Is there another way we can check to see if they're equal? What um, if we join them together? Join them together? Yes. Join them together so that... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. So what's happened there? Can you explain? Um, there's a thing because, look, that is the same size as that. And two quarters make one half yeah and joining them together makes one half yeah okay good so what sign are you going to separate them and what sign are you going to put equals oh very good okay one quarter is equal to two eight wait can we look at some thirds Okay. So can you put two thirds, two thirds comparing with one third? I think. You know those two um, lines that you use for the equal sign? Yeah. You can you adjust that to make the sign that you want. Yeah, I can actually. Okay, so one third and two thirds. This one's of course the bigger. So, Did you say of coursely? Yes. I'm, it's a made up word. Okay. Um, how many times bigger is the first one? Ooh, one time, two times. Two bigger. times bigger because two of. Yeah. Two thirds. Stay, stay, stay. No, that's fine now. Yeah? So two of the one third will give you two thirds. So the first factor is twice as big. What happens if you put all those together? It makes one whole. And how many thirds would that be? Three thirds. Okay, great. Okay, let's do another one. Two out of six, they're equal. Are they equal? Yes, because two thirds and if you combine two thirds together, what fraction would it make? Two thirds. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just compare the size, mm. put one on top of the other so we can see for sure. Yeah. Okay, very good. So they're equal. Yeah. And so change your sign so that we have mm. the correct sign. Good job. Now thirds for me on the board as quickly as you can and the fraction to go with it
Now four quarters. About two quarters. Just straight to that. Good. And let's do one more. Let's do five fifths. Five fifths. Five fifths. I think I know what you're going to do here. Okay, quickly in the fraction. What do all of these have in common? They all have one hole. They're all equal to one hole. And how can you tell by the way the fractions look that it's going to be equal to one hole? Um, they all have the same amount. They're not. So this is four lots of four. This is five lots of five. This is two lots of two. This is three lots of three. And this is one lot of one. Well, three out of three and five out of five. So tell me about the yeah. number at the top and the number at the bottom. Um, so out of kind So five out of five, yeah. those two numbers are what? Those two numbers are... The same. The same. Yes. So, five out of five is one whole. Yeah. What would ten out of ten be? One whole. What about twenty-five out of twenty-five? One whole. So, if you have a fraction where the number on top and the number at the bottom is the same, it's always going to be? One whole. Excellent. And that comes to the end of our lesson. Oh, um, there's someone I wanted to show you. Um, his name's Frankie. Um, it's my new dog. It's Hi, my Frankie. new. It's my new dog. If you haven't watched the last video, then watch it now because we said we were gonna get Frankie. That's the day we were getting him. Okay, and if you enjoyed our lesson, like that, subscribe, subscribe now. Subscribe and like our video. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Now we have some practice questions for you to try. When you're ready, pause the video and have a go. When you're finished and ready for the answers, press play.